Hi, in this video we will see expression macros in IICS. An expression macro is a macro that we use to create a repetitive or complex expression to perform a calculation across a set of fields or a constant in the mappings. For example, to filter out or null values in a set of fields or to remove the unwanted space tabs in the data. We can create the expression macros in expression as well as aggregated transformation, but we cannot combine expression macros and in out parameters in expression transformation. There are three ways to create the macros in IICS. First one is vertical. A vertical macro expands the expression vertically. Second one is horizontal. A horizontal macro expands the expression horizontally. Third one is hybrid. In hybrid, we have vertical as well as horizontal macros. Here in this uh, um, video, we will see one example to, uh, how to replace or how to filter out the null values. Uh, from the source table here i have uh, i have a source as oracle database and the target is also a oracle database see here the source is in the source database it is having source tables src employees here uh, we have the null values in email null values in the last name as well as you can see null values in the phone number, null values in the job id. So, I will uh, create a two target one for not null values and one more, one more another target is for null values. So, here I have created all the target tables. Uh, so, you can see that this target is empty this is for not null values and the second target is for null values. So, let us go to IICS dashboard and create the mapping. Go to new mapping, mapping. I will give the mapping name as m underscore macro null. I will give some name and I will go to source, I will select the source. Source table, src underscore implies. Similarly, I will add expression transformation over here. In the expression transformation, I will go to expression to create the macros. In an expression macro, one or more input field represent a source data for the macro and an expression represents the calculation that you want to perform and an output field represents the result for the calculation. So, here I will add the input macro field and give some meaningful name in in underscore macro. I will configure this macro for all incoming field. I can go for name field also. In the name field, I can select the specific uh, attributes. If I do not know in which attributes the null value is there, I can select all incoming fields and click OK and I have to create the output macro. So, I will click add and output macro field and I will I'll select 100 as a precision click OK. For this output macro, I am going to show the path as in macro for this I will press ok you can see output macro it has taken the name automatically 
and you can see it input macro it, it has selected automatically input macro because there is only one in macro and output macro is selected the name by suffixing underscore out and I configured this out uh, output macro with this in macro and here I am going to create a flag an integer flag and this is the output field and here I am going to use a horizontal macro and I will use the horizontal macros in built built in function to check the null values in the attributes. So, I will use this uh, sum operator here just uh, you can see I am going to add I am going to use this expression like uh, op sum if if this in underscore macro I will use one more is null of in underscore macro then it returns 1 or returns 0 and this close this this is a op operation sum it keep on checking uh, the null values for each and every field and it gives a summation if the tuple is having one null value means it will return one if the tuple is having a two null values means it will return two if the tuple is having no null value means it will return zero so, I, I cannot validate over here because uh, the expression cannot be validated because it uses the macro input field. The macros we cannot run, we cannot run macros in mapping, however, we can run this macros in runtime. Okay. I will go to and I will add a um, router transformation here. And in the router, I'll add the output group. Already one group is there. I'll create one more group. The group name I'll keep as null null record. And I'll configure this null record for this flags. As I said it should be if greater than equal to 1 then the record will move to this group if there are more than one null value means it, it will be accordingly the calculation will be there so I'll, I'll create one more target and we'll connect that target to this and first target I will configure the first target for not null value I will give this not null and I will select the target as TGT and I will select that the target And in the field mapping, here I need to use completely parameterized as I mentioned. Uh, this uh, macros got expand during runtime. So, so this uh, mapping should be done at the runtime only. And uh, uh, I will show uh, how to do this mapping in the runtime. So, I will create a new parameter um, TGT. I will create TGT 
null not null it can give any name I'll click OK. Similarly, I have to go create, I have to configure second target, text uh, target null values and target as TGT this select TGT employees null and the field mapping same I have to create uh, completely parameterized and I'll create the TGT null now I'll save this mapping you can see mapping is valid I'll create the configuration task for our, this mapping I will go to this new mapping task. MCT underscore, and I will select the secure agent. Next, as I mentioned in the previous discussion, that the macros got expanded over here you can see all the fields of the macros got expanded with suffix as underscore out so the default the automatic mapping should be unmapped i will remove this all the map automatic mapped things and i am going to map the macros field like for the first target Similarly, target second target, I am going to unmap all the automatic map things and I am going to map the expanded macros fields. Just validate. The validation is successful. Go to next. If you want to add the email address for notification, you can. Otherwise, you can finish it. Now, my mapping configuration task is ready. You can run this task. Go to my jobs. update is available update is available now you can see 11 rows are processed you can see total 11 rows at source source target not null 5 and null values are 6 there are 6 rows are having null value and 5 rows are having not null values and we can see that in the target so you can see there are 11 uh, source 11 sources and in the target you can see target not null values all these are having not null fields and the second target is having the null value you can check all the null values records are in TGT employees underscore null and not null null not null values are in TGT employees. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.